buddy Riding in the big drop Riding down 80 On the wheel with my wristwatch That bitch hoodie And yeah, we're back It's your boy the DJ TJ Live from Dash Radio Joy, what's up? What's poppin'? And we got a special guest in the building today Yeah, uh, um, yeah, yeah Go ahead and introduce yourself I go by the name Koi Ray. What's up everybody? Koi Ray. Yeah That's what's up Yep well, welcome to Dash Radio. We're glad to have you. Thank you. I like this Gucci hat you got going on here. Yeah, it's a Gucci hat, man. You know, it's, right. Yeah, you know, I like the drip. <laughs> teach, teach a couple of lessons, you know. Right. I dig it. So you got some hit records uh, going on. First off, you're from Jersey, right? Yeah, I'm from Jersey. I was born in Boston. I'm from Boston okay. and I'm from Jersey. So. I used to live in Boston as a kid. It's a good city. Word. You like Jersey better or Boston? Um, I like Jersey. Okay. Boston's lit. All my family's there, so I like it. But Word. Jersey's cool. Well, welcome to L.A. How long you been in the city? Um, I've been since the second, so I would say about like how long? D like ten days, two, two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Enjoying the weather? Oh, we got yeah. these crazy fires and shit yeah, right now too. I'm, I'm so it's normally not glad. like that. I apologize. Like Yo, I'm <laughs> glad I'm not there wherever it happened right. because it's just like and then the shooting. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, yeah, damn. Rest in peace. That was, rest that in yeah, word is ridiculous. It's a crazy world out there. L.A. Man. You got a dope single that's trending right now called Huddy. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Fire. Um, Huddy, you know, Huddy's lit right now. It's definitely about to hit, like, what, 1 million views? That's easy. We dropped it September 7th. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank I'm you. I'm going to insert the applause effect Thank right you. here, you know? Thank you. Like, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's lit. Um, right now, numbers just going up. We got, like, probably, I haven't checked recently, but I know we probably got like, about, like, 3 million on Twitter right now. Damn. Please. Congratulations. That's where it broke. Oh, okay. So it somebody broke through Twitter. Clip. Like, yeah, somebody posted a clip and like, because I've been getting, the, I had the following or whatever, but this hoodie is starting to like really take everything yeah. off. So it, somebody posted on Twitter the clip. It was like probably a minute and probably a minute long. They posted and everybody reacted to it. It was going crazy. Who, who was it that posted it? Uh, Do you remember? I forgot his name. I don't know his name by well, heart. Well, shout out to that dude. Yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, I, I say, yo, I mean, it's crazy because in the beginning, like, Keep in mind, I just got on social media in November 2017. Okay. I got back, I would say. I okay. disappeared for two years. Okay, I, so. You know, I'm 21. I had got my apartment. I had two apartments. I was so you're 21 right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Working in sales? Yeah. So I done, you know what I mean? Been there, done that. Been there, done that or whatever. So, yeah, you know, now it's just. We, what kind of sales were you in? Like a real job or were you in nah, like street No, I was, doing, sales, I was like, selling Google listings and stuff. Okay. Like talking to business owners. It's like, hello, hi, this is Chloe. No, I had a boy oh, who wow. does that. Oh, may I help you? You know what I mean? Hey, did you you were killing it though, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was killing it. Nah, nah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, I was killing it. I was making I was making good money. That's, but I was not 16, like now. making She's like 800 here. every week. Oh, Damn. And then I made eighteen hundred every two weeks when I went to the second sales drop. That was when I was like, that's when I got my own apartment. Okay, okay. big things. Yeah, I humbled myself at that point. So when did the music start? Um, I've been. I grew up in the industry. I would say. Okay, um, that's what I hear. Your dad's been Zeno. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my pops. He's like he's hey. a legend. Right, he yeah. is. And from what I understand, he started like the Source magazine. Word, word. Yeah, nah, yeah. Um, I um. I've been doing music since a youngin', you know, and um, I actually just started taking it serious upon myself within myself and my team. Okay. In November, November okay. 2017 is when I activated my Instagram after two years. And what made you want to do that? What, what were you like? What was the turning? My point? My last job, yo. I was working. I mean, yeah, I was working at this place and not um, the Google spot. <laughs> nah, it was it was this it was this last job that I needed a quick job because I ended up leaving my last job. Okay. Yo, it was like the shipping. Like we had to do UPS shipping, mm -hmm. FedEx. Like I had to do customer service. So if somebody didn't get their package, they would call angry. Like, oh, I didn't get oh, a package. Shit. Call UPS, track the package, Mad file as hell. a claim. Hell yeah. I was pissed, bro. I'm like, hell no. I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this shit is not going to work. Yeah, so. So you activated Twitter. Uh, no, I didn't even, I didn't activate Twitter probably till like January February. I didn't like Twitter, and okay. I still didn't begin. And it, that's where it, it tied down to, because I never even was a fan of Twitter. And if it wasn't for Twitter, yo, Huddy would have never like. <laughs> right. It's just crazy how it is things crazy. work. Yeah, it is. But nah, I got on Instagram. I started posting. I wrote goofy ass niggas. That was my first single. I met Neek. Bye. Shout out to Neek. Um, that's my best friend now. She's my videographer. It's crazy because recently everybody's like, "Yo, is that your girl?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, yeah, I need to chill. It's my sister, but." Nah, because we're always with each other. Right. And um, she shot Goofy Ass Niggas and it blew up from there. Been applying pressure over there, making videos in the studio. Dope. Just going hard. Yeah. And That's just what's shot up. Videos, word. 
You know what's crazy that you said like they thought that that was your girl because you got a fly look. You know, Thank like you. Thank you. you can switch it up, look classy. You can you know be tomboy. So how is that being in the music industry and like you know going between that? Like, has there ever been a time where people are like, oh, like Miss thought that you were something else? Or yeah, whatever? of course. I mean, everything is cozy. That's where everything cozy. You know. Falls yeah, I wanted in. to ask, what is everything cozy? Um, everything cozy is basically you know you have to go ahead and feel comfortable with yourself. Right. Okay, so for example, right? In, in any, in no matter which you are, he, she, fly, cat, dog, mm -hmm. butterfly, don't mm -hmm. matter what it is, you have to be comfortable. Yeah. Comfy. So me, I'm the type of girl, like I like to have fun. Right. I turn up, you know what I mean? I look cute. I know I look cute, so yeah, I don't have to sit here and act like I look cute. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm the type to go to the club and I wear on some, you know, some swaggy, you know, some sweatpants, a sweatsuit, some sneakers and, I'll pay that 60 to get in because I'm wearing that. But right. like, people, you know, would be like, yo, what's up? Like, you like girls or whatever? And, you know, and this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, nah, I'm cozy. Like, right. that's just it. Everything Can is Can I cozy. just be cozy? Word, word. There's a lot of people that like to just, it's just being comfortable with yourself, loving yourself, and not giving a fuck what anybody says. Respect. I love you. You know what I mean? I do too. And it was supposed to be cozy girls at first when we oh, first started, okay. but right. I'm like, nah. Fucking cozy girls. Everybody got to be cozy. Right. Word. I'm trying to be cozy. Shit. Word. I like that. Everything cozy. Yeah, C-O-Z. No why. I want to get back into Huddy. There's a lot of people who probably still haven't heard it. Yeah. So I have to play it on the yeah, show. Play this it, shit play is it, popping it's right crazy. now. It's going crazy. Let's get into it. This is Huddy right here with Koi LeRae. Hey. Koi LeRae, y'all. Fire. Damn. Yeah. That's that shit right there. Yeah. That's you a know, hit record if I ever know. heard one. No. I would bump it daily. Period. It's already daily. it's already in the playlist. Oh, of course. You already know I got that shit on rotation. Yeah. And that's Huddy. For those who don't know, Coy Ray. Damn. No, that's that's great. my jam though. Hey, you know what I really fuck with those? The video. The video. The ice right. cream truck. Right. Yo, let me tell you a secret about the ice cream trucks, right? All right. So <laughs> Let's the hear ice this. So look, so we were supposed to just go and shoot on the street. Okay. Right? And it was just supposed to be the street scene. Right. Okay. But around the corner from where the original location was where we were going to shoot, yeah. the ice cream truck warehouse was literally like down the street, right. like not even two doors down. And it was like ice cream trucks everywhere. Right. We were like, the yo, set looked dope. Yo, we were like, yo, can we use these trucks please <laughs> right. for the video? They were like, all right, come on real quick. Okay. We got no all, way. yo, I so swear, gorilla shot that yo, shit. it was like God and made it like, it was No, because there's like standing right in the time. middle. For those who haven't seen the video, you need to go check Fire. this shit out. She's standing in the middle on the whole run. There's like light coming you through the, the middle of the You see the three of them in the back? And then the, yo, right. there's this part where the third one turns the block in the shot. Yo. Right. It's like, yo, I'm telling you, it, it was God. God's plan that day. That shit is hard. It was lit. It was lit. I love it. Thank and your you. flow is ill. Thank you. I like Here. to switch it up. I can't wait to show you guys. What I do have coming with um EC too the the switch up is crazy. So. And it's dope because you sing and you rap. Yeah, like, hell people yeah. People don't yeah, do yeah. that no more. They so, do one or the other. Right? Did you start off as a rapper or a singer, or were you just always? From it the was gate? always both. Goofy ass niggas and fuck nigga prayer. Excuse my language, but that's what the first songs <laughs> were. Um, those were like singing and rapping. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Big ups, big ups. I'm excited. You got a, a big career ahead of you. I see big things popping. I actually excited. saw you in a friend of mine, St. Hathaway's Instagram recently. You know Saint? Yeah, that's my guy. Shout hey, out, Saint. Shout out to Saint. Saint. Um, so are you signed to a label right now? or? Yeah, you know, I just got signed. I just got signed to Republic. Oh, hey. okay. Throw so another little applause Thank sound you. effect Thank in you. there right there for <laughs> Koi LeRae, y'all. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Republic too, because that's a. Uh, for those who don't, that's like one of the most major hip hop labels out. Actually, yes. one of the biggest labels out. Period. Yeah, Republic is the shit. Congrats, yeah. that's huge. I'm happy with them. Oh, you should so be. You should go buy yourself it's, another it's chain amazing. too, because yeah, you nah, are Republic I'm about now. To get, nah, it's about to be <laughs> lit. Like, oh. trust me, we just signed like two weeks ago. Oh, uh, congrats. Give me some time to get a, get, get a whiff of this this, right. this deal. Yeah, hey, don't go, <laughs> don't go too hard on the spending just yeah, yet. Nah, you know? nah, 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 nah. You know, so far we gonna spent probably like. Like nine thousand on some shoes in, hey. in five days, but hey. you earned it. Crazy, you earned it. I earned it though, yo. I've been wearing freaking Vans and Skechers. Oh, like, hey. I, shout out to Vans Ain't and Skechers, though. No, I love Vans. What no, but hell? listen, I love Vans. I love Damn. Vans. I, you know, no, I might as well throw these off the no, balcony. No, I now. love Chucks. I love Vans and I love Skechers. But I, it was just at a point where you know, at, coming as an upcoming artist, the right. money that I did want to like, right. I would love to have a pair. of What are you wearing right now? 
Huh? What are you rocking right now? I'm wearing so Balenci. Oh, oh, she got oh, the Balenci. Your girl made it. Your girl made it. We okay. lit. We lit. I done caught me three pairs. Right. Come she on. came in here dripping, man. Like she got the chains, the Gucci hat yeah. with the Balenciagas, yeah. man. I got to go back no. to H&M and give me some. <laughs> H&M got the drip. I'm telling you. They especially do. for girls. They, they got, do. You know, they got some What are your stuff. thoughts on Fashion Nova? Um, so well, throw a little twist in the plot. Right. So listen, right? Fashion Nova, I actually like it. Okay. I actually love it because if I was shaped like half of them girls right. that model for any of them clothes, right. I would be, I would body it. Okay. Unfortunately, I can fit like a double zero to a zero, even a one. Um, and you wow. can't, it's that hard to really like smart. find that. And you know, it's not like I'm, I'm skinny, but you know, I still got a little butt. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I still got a little move or whatever, but... Nah, fashion over though. What I do want to do is I want to um. I'm not even gonna say it. I want to white take my idea. Okay. Can't even say it. We'll save okay. it. But you know, it's gonna be lit. Okay. When, they, when they hear it, they gonna be like, "Oh, you smart." Right. Okay. Damn, we see how what she did right there. Sponsorship is coming. Right. Yeah. Soon enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's already popping. I feel it too. I can't wait. What do you think were some of your biggest influences to your music career? That have brought you to where you're at now. Um, definitely Chief Keith. Okay, and why I'm is that? I'm not even gonna lie. Like, okay. yo, are you guys friends? N- well, no, nah, we're not friends. I would say we're cordial. Yet. Like, we're yeah, we're not friends yet. I wouldn't call him my friend, but right. he know who I am. Okay, he he know he knows me. He he knows of me. Okay, since. Back in the day. When he first came out with like cooling with my young and or like okay. even John Madden. Not he don't know me yeah, with John Madden, but I know okay. him since John Madden. Okay. He knows me since cooling with the youngin. Okay. I was living with my dad in Atlanta. I moved to Atlanta for a year. Yo, my dad used to be pissed because I used to be blasting <laughs> that shit in my room going right. crazy. He used to be like, yo, are you serious? I'm like, yo, you're crazy. This shit is hard. <laughs> right. And, and she's talking about the dude who started Source. Which is is the magazine still around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. I haven't been, I haven't yeah. bought a magazine yeah. in a while. I apologize. You know. Nah, nah. It is nowadays. You gotta like find like a how I feel about magazines. I'll probably find a dope magazine with a fire cover and just hang it up. Yeah. Right. Put it on the wall. Too. Like yeah. damn, that's right. ill. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, when you're on the cover. Yeah, when I. <laughs> yep. Yeah, those are the only. I have like twenty. What was it like growing up with your dad in the source? Like, you know, I mean, he's like the one that founded like the whole five mic things, like rating albums. Like he like Um, made some careers even. Might be partly responsible for some of that. It was cool. I grew up with my mom mostly because I'm the only girl. I grew up with boys or whatever, but I did back and forth with my mom and dad. I mean, yeah, with my mom and dad. So your mom was in Boston? No, my, so we was in Boston. So I did a lot of moving. So we was in Boston. Um, when my dad got the source, we moved, of course it was in New York. So we moved always 15 minutes away from every city. We was in Upper Saddle River. Uh, my mom and dad split. My mom, my mom went to Hackensack, New Jersey, Bergen County. That's where I've been since. And then my dad went to Miami. Then he moved into Atlanta. And then ever since, like when I was nine, me and Taj just always flew back and forth for every single vacation, like summer. And um, yeah, and then like my dad was always busy and stuff. So, you know, he was like, Source was lit. Right. Like, yeah. you know, so he was super. Oh, I had the subscription. But Don't we was wrong. lit back in the day. Like, yeah, we had like the, you know, and that's why another thing. That was the source, like to no. hip hop. Like, yeah, people no, yeah. like, that's where I went to find out all about new people, yeah, new artists, right. new merch, no, everything. Money was definitely flowing. And one thing I do say is like, I humbled myself as far as me being, I'm, I just turned 21 May. I'm a tourist. I'm a Congratulations. Tourist. Okay. So, as far as like me, Going through the whole getting my own apartment, knowing where the bills and all that stuff. Like, I call myself Hannah Montana because I had the best of both worlds. Because with my mom, is food stamps. Right. With my dad, okay. it's like, it was the, you know what right. I mean? The I good the life Jordans and stuff. And, the, Word. and, the, yeah. and then, you know, I grew up with the, the, the Maseratis, the chrome bikes, the right. diamond three chain. Like, all that shit don't matter to me. Like, now right. we're just at a point where my music is so powerful. You can just tell, like, all that materialistic shit gets to a lot of people's heads, and that's where they take focus off the yes. music, and that's where it's just go left. Respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, but I'm happy. I can't wait until my damn tape drop because it's been a minute since I dropped some shit. Yo, I've right. been going through some shit as far as this whole label, everything. Oh, I bet. I bet it's been an uproar. Yeah. And, and, and my, my question is, how? Is you, your success has gone pretty fast from... 2017. Oh, right, to November 2017 November? to right now. Like, no, how did you build like a solid team around yourself to even yes. get to this point? Shout out to my Man, team. Squad. Yeah, shout out to the whole squad. Shout out by to the way, everybody out here. Cozy, yo. One thing that um we're po- in pop in Jersey, we're super popular for just being like we're the hottest team out there. Like nobody okay. can do it better than us because we have this thing where it's like if you can't get over something in seven minutes, it's right. not for you. Let's just start there. Number one, and, and D always stick to stuck to that. 
And um, I met Neek through Goofy Ass Niggas, and okay. she stuck with me ever since. What's up, Neek? Product, hey. yeah, Neek. <laughs> products, my, he's actually here. He's my engineer now. He's been my okay. engineer since day one. I got he he to the point where I bought my first session. And this product right here? Yeah, where he at? Product oh, he's right out there. Here. Shout out to product. What's up, product? Yeah, hey. 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 product. Shout out to Rush Studios. She's out there taking a nap. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> she he, be putting him to work. Yeah, he's over there watching little Instagram videos. Coy don't let him sleep. Yeah, nah, we about to go to the studio right after this. I feel that. Now we putting in work. Nah, but um, since day one though, that's like, awesome. I was paying for studio time. Right. Sean wow. came in, took over. Um, shout out to my manager Sean, and then get product we end up being on the house. And by the way, Sean is dripping back here in Billionaire yeah, Boys. Yeah, can, I, can, I, can, I, can someone see. acknowledge the drip back you here? The whole team you is dripping. The whole team. You and I'm it. out here in H and M, y'all. We gotta really it. change some you things. Uh, nah, this way. You see it? Nah, nah. But yeah, and then Sean ended up partnering up with D. So D, D's my cousin. So D's in family. So. Okay. And then rocking out ever since. And then we got DJ Loudmouth and we got M Dot, my main producers who've been with me since day one. Nice. It's so crazy. who produced Huddy? The uh, produced by Knock. Shout out to Knock because Knock okay. produced Huddy and No Letting Up. Wow. Yeah, okay. and No Letting Up is another hot one. It's like with him. <clears throat> So Huddy, he was like, when we went to the studio, it was like, he's not my everyday studio. Right. You know? So I, when I went with him, it was always like a hit off rip. He already had something. Yeah. Right. Like, I got an idea. Let's yeah, get on Yeah, I got this something track. for you. I already made it. I feel it. that. So he was like, yo, I got this. I made it for you. I'm going to play it. He's like, got this ice cream paint job vibe. I want you to go ahead and. Right. I'm like, buy right, my gift from Huddy, too. Yeah, yeah, word. So I said, all right, yeah, bet. Buddy. Let's do it. Rolling let's like a big star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, what's crazy is Sean. And his his Inglewood niggas and stuff. They like they used to be like, Huddy is Huddy. Tell that girl Huddy, like it's a dove. Like she Huddy or yeah. nah, it's Huddy, you can't get none of my juice. So I'm like, <laughs> I, yo, we said they were saying it every day. So we went right. to the studio and I, I Coined write, the phrase. Yeah, yo, and I write through experience. So it was just history after that. I'm like, tell that bitch Huddy and I write. So it was just was and it's lit now. And Sounds I'm happy like it came out. Inglewood shit. Like it's not but in New York. People a lot of people in New York say it. You spending okay. a whole lot of time in LA. You gonna move out here some, sometime soon? Nah, it's too expensive. The what? taxes is killing me. I'm out. It I'm going is to expensive. I'm not okay. gonna lie. Do they have sales tax in Jersey or how's they that work? Sales tax in Jersey? No. No, we don't have sales tax. Damn. So you come out here, you're like, it's wait. The price is the price. Right. See, I'm from Portland, Oregon. It's just like that too. You come out here, they add a little extra on top. I'm like, it says thirty nine fifty. Extra. 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 Why did it come to fifty bucks? That extra. happened to me today, and then I feel dumb for questioning it. Like I feel dumb. It's crazy. For the, add a little ridiculous. bit on top, I'm like wait, it said thirteen. Okay, yeah, you gotta have like ten jobs to survive Oregon, in LA. Though? Like people don't understand. Right, Joy's the jack of all trades. She do it all. <laughs> you gotta grind, you know. Like and you got it. Like you can, you got it. Watch. I'm curious. What's, Bro, what's she the came from base? from selling Google ads like two years ago. Look where she's at now. <laughs> what are you talking about? She wait, got it. I'm wait curious. till next year when she bends the corner right. of Bentley. <laughs> what's the Look people at, like in Oregon? You know, a bunch of hipsters, they're and hippies? they're a little bit behind. You know, yeah. uh, shout out to my hometown, Portland. You know, we got the Blazers, but yeah. everybody smokes hella weed. Yeah. That's, it's like... It's legal? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like people just walk down the street smoking blunt. They'll give you weed. Like, people come up to my DJ booth, because I DJ, and they'll just be like, here, bro, they try this. And I'm like, damn, you can do that? <laughs> like, I had a friend hand me a box of Cocoa Puffs, and it wasn't Cocoa Puffs. It was like a zip inside. I was like, damn, bro, you made it past security <laughs> oh with, the, with the Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> <laughs> but, that's, you know, I love it. It rains a lot. The summers are dope, but... yeah. The yeah, weather's that's dope. about it. Yeah. There, are, are they fans? Like, are they music fans out there? They are. Like I said, they're behind. You know, and you want to hear something crazy, though? What? I didn't even know about you until I went to Portland on Halloween. No way. I swear to God. That's shout crazy. out to... No, I said this today. I said this today. I said, shout out to my boy, Token, who already DM'd shout him a picture of you. Token. And uh, he plays your video. He goes, check out this shit. You seen this yet? That's exactly what he said. This is Halloween night. What's his name? Clinton Sparks artist. Possibly. Clinton Sparks actually works here at Dash Radio, too. Shout out to Clint. That's dope. Um, but he showed me your video, and I was like, oh, this goes. And I was like, you know, same thing. Reminds me of ice cream paint job, but yeah, she's bringing that new flavor. That's lit. And here you are right now on the show. That's lit. Shout so you had, you've you been uh, performing a lot lately, right? Yeah, I've been performing since May, like probably May. How, how are the gigs? How's the crowds? And like, what's some of the like the best performances that you've had so far? Yo, yes, last night at Where was USC. That? Okay. Uh, homecoming? Oh, my God. God, they were going stupid. We had the strippers come out from Damn. my set. Oh, it was over shit. a balcony, so we had everybody looking up. Like, I was the stars, yo. It was ridiculous. Tight. How's that feel? It felt great. I love performing, yo. It's natural to me. Like, I just, I love that. I can't wait. And then I performed at the Barclays, too. It was oh, lit okay. for V-Files. Shout out to V-Files and Julian. Oh, right. Where, yeah, Delhi. Shout out to all of them. They're lit. That's, they, I've been, they've been rocking with me since day one. But we did the big Barclays Center V-Files. 
man. It was That's huge. monumental. That was the biggest crowd I probably had. Wow. So I can't wait to lie. Do you ever get nervous? No, nah, I don't get nervous. But right. you know what, though? I would say, and here's a secret. It's another secret that I have. My nervous system is, like, weird because I don't feel nervous. But every time I'm about to perform, like, 10 minutes before, I have to pee. <laughs> I did. Like, right now, I gotta go to the bathroom. All of a sudden, right? All of a sudden. Well, it's better than when you're on stage, shit. Yeah, yeah. Word. You know, like fuck. Word. Halfway through your set, like, God damn. No, but it happens <laughs> every time. Like I'm just like, yo, what right. the hell? You can tell it just be nervous, right? Yeah, that's well, it. that works, shit. Yeah, okay. But you know, also you're like you're. Ver- it seems like you're fairly early in your career. And I see you going a long way with this. Yep. You know, I'm not gonna stop, y'all. I definitely see longevity. Like there's a lot of stuff that um. I do rap about that, you know, like, I like to have fun. You know, mm-hmm. Chief Keef is, you know, he, he raps about a lot of stuff. And, you know, I'm against gun violence and all that stuff yeah. like that. But the music that I have that is about to come out, like, Big Bang Rose is so different. Okay. It's going to blow people's minds back. Like, and I hate to even say this because it's like, everybody's like, yeah, well, bitch, we'll see when it comes. Right. But I mean, you'll see when yeah, it that's comes. Just, when it, yeah, that's just <laughs> really what it out. is. Like, you're just really going to find out when it comes. Cause right. That's all I can say. Like, all I can do is just keep being myself and working right now. I'm working. Just, you get signed, you got to work. Yep. It's like working hard. And then we've been doing this, and that was better because we got, like, more that's opportunities. Yeah. We got, like, money. money. Right. We got a bigger team. Yo. We got Here bro. she goes. <laughs> yeah, it's lit, yo. I'm telling you, I love it. That's dope. Um, so there's been some rumors. I got to get into the rumors a little bit. Rumors of maybe you and Trippy Red dating or something? What's going nah, on there? Nah, nah, nah. We not dating. That's my boy. We actually got a song together. We got two songs together. Okay. Word. And we can expect that, what, in the next year or the next album? Uh, no, album. So I'm going to tape. You got a release date for this album? January 4th. Oh, the day after my birthday. That's Woo! a good present you right there. Capricorn? Huh? Are you a Capricorn? Yeah. My, my little brother is a Capricorn. I can't wait. Now I got a good gift He's coming in on the day after my yep. birthday. That's January lit. 4th. Yeah. Right there. The song's Cold hard, Monday. too. Hard. He bodied it. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. just dropped another uh what album on Friday. Yeah. Yep. yeah. He's killing it. So yeah, that's gonna be perfect timing for your shit to drop yeah, because then it dope. just falls in line with everybody else's success. He's dope. He's dope. He's dope. Yeah, no, nah, we ain't dating nah, nah. Okay. Sure. Just asking. Music coming with YBN, maybe? Yeah, I got a song with okay. YBN. I got a video with YBN. Okay. Yeah. You run with that camp a lot? Um, I like they, they. I like their music. They cool. Someone whatever. said something about you being the fourth member or something. something no, nah, like I'm not the fourth member. Nah, I'm everything cozy, and that's it. Right? Yeah, forever. everything cozy. Everything cozy. Republic. Right? Oh, there it is. You know she, <laughs> she already represents already Republic. Represent. I love it. Getting it. I noticed uh, you're always rocking butterflies. What, yeah. Is there is any meaning behind that? What, what's yeah, the- because you know what? I feel like I was reborn. Like, ever since I started doing this music, I'm telling you, it happens so fast. I still just be sitting in the car, like, it's like a movie. You just sit in the window and you looking at the thing ride, but you just, like, with a song playing right. in the background. You just be like, like It's just Damn. really happening right now. How, like, we really got here that, and it's, because cr- you really, when you, you really speak in existence. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm just, I'm in the future now. Like, it's ridiculous how back a couple months ago in January, we was just like, yo, he was like, it was going to be a bid in war, bid in war. And before Republic, we got 12 label meetings. I'm like, damn. yeah, word with everybody. I'm like, damn, yo. And, and everybody's so sweet. Right. And all the labels are so the Nice cool. airplanes. Oh, the nice. The luxury meals. <laughs> yeah. The hotels. The word. It, it, everybody, no, nah, but they're really cool But who people. came with the check? That's what we want to know. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Big stuff popping. Coyler Ray, thank you for coming to Dash Radio yes, today. Yeah, it's the man. Kickback Show. Joy, always thank you for coming in, my co host with Beautiful Lady with the Most. <laughs> and it's your boy, the DJ TJ, Hollywood, California. Be on the lookout for Coyler Ray, y'all. Yo, Yay. thank you so much, y'all. Everything cozy. Yo, turn up. Everybody is lit. And get ready for EC2, January 4th. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, riding in the big drop, riding down 80 on the wheel with my wristwatch. That bitch, Huddy, 